here is the revision I'm making to my filter and uh, the reason why is because I really want to get the foam fractionation to work right um, in the previous attempt I had let the water settle down here and it kind of created a pool inside the bins um, I guess that drastically collected the foam and made the flow a lot slower so what I did now is I put two layers of um, what are these called? Uh, pavers and essentially yeah, these are 12 by 12s as you can see it kind of fits perfectly now what this will do is bring up the water level so that it's around the top of the outlet hole or port uh, as you can see I've also notched a little bit of space here so that uh, you know there's more space for the water flow down I'm not sure if that really matters but uh, I, I thought it might help so um, these two layers of pavers brought it up to about three and a half inches or so and I'm hoping that because the water is now up higher it will flow out smoothly and at a higher rate um, into the pond and uh, I guess I'll put some oyster shells in inside these bins like so and uh, the goal is to have the oyster shell come in close to the top of the bin as you can see they this is what it looks like so the bins are nesting on top of each other um, they stack and they got like these little notches here that fits in perfectly so all right, let me demonstrate so yep so something like that um, so what I want to do is give a little bit of space right here so that when the water drops down it will create splash or at least have a splashing effect and that way you know the more droplets gets in the open air the more oxygen can get inside it and that will of course bring up the oxygen level in the water Okay, so the goal is to get oyster shells in a basket. Make sure that when you put the second one on top, that there's space in between like this. Oh, let me see. Yep. Something like that. See that little gap right there? So that little air space. I mean, so water can just drop down, create as many bubbles as it can in the process. That's what I really want. These are the two trays that I welded out of the plastic bins. Um, basically, I just cut up one of the bins to make the tray. It goes on the top of the bin, and I drill like maybe a couple of hundred holes inside them. Um, that way, I can distribute the water evenly from the top. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just a welded piece. I line it up. Um, draw some lines across to make sure everything looks kind of neat when you drill, and then that's it. And it will go on like this, and then on top, we'll put the Matella mat. Well, I spent the morning rinsing out oyster shells and start <coughs> packing them into these uh, containers. So now I got four. Uh, gonna leave a little bit of a space up here to uh, put the Matella mat and maybe a little bit of piping so that I can get the water distribute it evenly. Overall, I calculated that with these four bins, although they hold about 36 cubic foot of space, um, I ended up using maybe about 27, 28 cubic feet of uh, 
oyster shells, which is more than plenty. I mean, if you think about it, spend a thousand dollar or maybe two thousand dollar on a huge back shower and you still wouldn't get this much volume. So for me, this is doable. And then since I only have one pump, I gotta install a second pump right here, maybe for a mid-water pickup, somewhere inside that little slot right there. And hopefully that will bring up the water um, volume and finally actually get some foam fractionation. Um, I think the low flow was probably the main reason why I didn't get any foam. Much of yesterday was spent putting together and completing my Baki shower or trickle tower, wet dry filter, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I completely filled it up, put two pumps now instead of one, and increased the water flow. Although the surface area on this container, I mean, the, 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 this container is like so big and Two pumps is probably not enough. I think I can probably do four pumps if I really wanted to, but uh, it's unnecessary because I, I'm achieving what I set out to do. And um, let me show you how good the foam production is this morning. Really, really happy about this. Look at that. That's just from since I think around 10 o'clock last night when I fine tune everything and kind of just let it run. And until this morning around 6 a.m. This is what I'm getting. High quality foam, if you can even call it that, because it is literally flowing out like a sausage. And there was actually a lot of tinkering to get this to do what I wanted. Um, <clears throat> what I didn't realize at the time was that, well, I kind of realized it, which is why I modified the bottom of the, the basin here by putting you know two layers of bricks in uh, what that did was bring up the water level so that it dropped it down and exited at a higher velocity but uh, that alone wasn't what contributed to all this foam um, and it took a lot of tinkering to kind of find out what was happening when the water was high up here above the exit of the port the container acted as a fractionator so the foam was trapped inside I mean we kind of figured that out at the beginning uh, earlier when I didn't get any foam so to get the water at this level is basically a lot of trial and error but what you really want in this type of a design is to have the water level exiting the port slightly below the top of the port that way everything gets to come out and nothing is standing inside the container um, so that's how you can increase the foam production the other thing was um, the other thing was actually increasing the water velocity and uh, I didn't really actually think about it at the beginning but here is what I did modify on the exit right here uh, that enters the pond originally it was just a pipe right here um, I mean I kind of had the water exiting ab above the water level because I thought it would create more turbulence and wave and agitation and help circulate things but what me and my wife kind of came to an understanding and an agreement was that it was just a little bit too loud I feel like the ambient noise that we're getting right now is much more pleasant and so I added another 45 and brought the water under the, the water level right here you see it the exiting water now is under the water level of the pond and what I didn't realize was that by doing so it increased the velocity of the water exiting because it acted like a siphon the moment the water came in here and exited uh, under the water line it it created a, um, a suction like a siphon and essentially it acted also had like a, a venturi effect but what I noticed that immediately was that the water level inside the basins there 
dropped by almost two inches when I bit this. So it was drawing out a lot faster. And the increased velocity helped generate a lot more foam overall. So that was my discovery and um, I'm really happy with the way it's working out. I'm going to be curious to see how the foam production um, <clears throat> levels off as the sun comes up and in the coming days. But uh, if it keeps doing this, I'm really, really happy.